another exciting one from the uh, interior of Borneo in Kapit. I found two varieties of wild longan. Yeah, these are called Sarawak longans. You can see there's a green one here and a yellow one here. Now, obviously, these look very different than the longans that you get at the Chinese supermarkets in the U.S. Uh, because they are super bumpy. I mean, they are very closely related to longans, so I'm presuming they're going to taste a lot like longans, but who the hell knows? They're so strange looking that I'm sure there's going to be at least like some variation to it. These have two different names. The green one is called Isau, and the yellow ones are called Cacus or Caucus. I'm sure I'm saying both of those words wrong, of course, but um, yeah, they, have, they are different ones. Uh, originally when I saw these at the market, I almost didn't buy, uh, didn't buy both kinds because I thought maybe one was just like the riper version of the other, because like these are green, maybe like some people like eating them unripe, but I guess they are two different varieties uh, after all. And uh, the one thing with these is that like when you open these up, uh, they don't open up easily the way that longans do. So what people usually do is they'll like wash them and then like open them with their teeth. I don't feel like doing that, so I'm gonna give it like a good college try and just see if I can open this up. Yeah, it's not so bad. I mean the fact that it's bumpy gives you like something to grip onto, but yeah, the skin is much thicker than your typical longan. You can see on there. It's not that thick, but it's still pretty thick. There's the inside. You can see the seed inside there. Longans in Chinese are it translates to uh, dragon eye, which it looks kind of like an eyeball. You can see a little seed in there, uh, which is why it has that name. But let's see if it tastes different than your traditional longan. It is very, very similar to the longan, the regular longan. Uh, the regular longan, if you've never had them, they taste like melon a little bit. Um, I see if there's any difference. I think that these actually might be less sweet than the longans that I've had in the past. Um, which is not a bad thing. They still have like a, quite a bit of flavor. They're very melony, uh, very tasty. A little bit. It's like if you took melon and lychee and mixed them together. And um, yeah, these are good. I mean, I definitely you know, buy these if they were available in the U.S. Um, if this were available and regular long goods were available, uh, I would buy whichever one was cheaper. They are that close in flavor. All right, so let's try the yellow variety. This one looks actually like bumpier on the outside. You can see like this one is like almost like a little bit smoother uh, than this one. Oh, yeah, all right. Yeah, this is hard to open. There we go, okay. Oh, yeah, this one's different for sure. Yeah, you can already see, just from like opening up that, the seed inside is going to be bigger. It's also a little bit, um, it's very wet and juicy on the inside. Huh. Interesting. Hmm. That has a different flavor. For sure. Wow. Um. I mean, the regular longan taste is there, but it has a funk to it. Like a durian kind of funk to it which is weird. I mean, it almost looks like a very, very tiny little durian. I mean, I would call these like durian longans, and I would make so much money if I had a fruit stall in Malaysia. It's like if you took durian and longans and mixed them together. The flesh on these is, um... It's a little harder to get off the seed. But it does come off. 
and there is not nearly as much flesh. There is mostly seed. You get more for your money's worth if you buy the green ones, I guess. Um, but, however, when I went to the store, these have different prices. These were six ringgit a kilo, which is about a dollar fifty a pound, or a dollar fifty a kilo. And this is, this was uh, like a dollar a kilo. This was only four ringgit. So, they're, they were a little bit cheaper, so I guess these are not as desirable as the green ones. Which is strange, because like, people love durian here, they love durian funky fruits. But, um, yeah, maybe because you don't get as much fruit, I'm not sure. I don't really prefer one over the other, I think that they both have, like, their perks. I mean, sometimes I'm in the mood for things like durian that have, like, a little bit of, like, a, a funky, like, oniony taste, in which case the other ones would be great for that. Other times I just want something, you know, kind of, like, sweet and mild, in which case I would go for this guy. But either way, they're both really good, and they're both something that I would pick up again, if uh, they were available in places other than Borneo. Hey guys, before you click out, I just want to talk to you for one second. I want to tell you about my Patreon page that I started, okay? Patreon is a way of viewers of my series to contribute and help make my series even greater. So go and check it out. Just click on this screen. Actually, click on these bunnies here to be brought to... Hi, I know! Click on these bunnies here to go to my Patreon page where you can learn more about how to make my series even greater. Come on. They're adorable. Don't you want to click on them? Yes. Don't bite me.